fritillaries, floating flames, your peachy bodies blur with sunrise, marigold miscellanies of henna. I think of you as the fiery flags of a cinnamon planet, snippets of ginger waltzing through spring mornings over marshes and moors, tripping an auburn saunter over sun-baked heaths, ragworts ribbons. You paint tropical pictures in rockeries, hedge your bets on betony, primrose, violets and viburnum, filipendula, geranium, grasses, Like the keys of fragile pianos, you dance over tussocks and herbaceous borders, pepper woodland verges in your bronze ballet, ignite whole swathes of riverside in ambery fandangos. Lace Wings Glaucous swords of elfin villains, viridian knives of puckish pixies. You split the petalled curtain of a woodland stage. Impish insectivores, dandelion phantoms, serrating sunrise mists in glittery twists of turquoise-tinted green. Burial jesters, Celadon sprites, luminescent lorelies of aquamarine. Demoiselle, weaving through thistles, your sunlit dance, an elveresque weft. You float among saxifrage, foxtail grass, fantasias of indigo, a flame in July's kisses of soft sunshine. When skies darken and a breeze clips the tresses of the meadow, your sliver-thin form sails like a raindrop on the sea into hedges tightly knit as cities. No trace now of your swift mirage a memory of diamonds, newly chill, on stone-cold air. Dragonfly in flight. Twisting torpedo, you dip and dive, a loosened licorice stick, draped in crinkled tinsel, Scattering infrared confetti, Empyrean laser beam, a flame. You lick the humid buzz of summer air, So all are wakened and aware Of the jazzy razzle-dazzle of the dragonfly. Stag beetle, curve crown, you clump a soily course through dead wood, antlered by club-like hooks. Like a bully of the undergrowth, you scuttle, rutting, horn-headed, like a moving claw. Purplish, matte-black back, or snowy speck sparkled tar. You drag a bruiser's bones, grizzlily, like gritty gangsters stamping your authority or warlords brimming with dictatorial intentions and yet crepuscular capones your food's as far from the carnivorous as it's possible to be from larval days of nibbling on decaying wood to the sap drinking habits that define your diet as a beetle. 
confounding expectations. It said that through your lives of approximately three to seven years, you eat nothing whatsoever. Dreaming of millipedes. Like border seeping oil slicks they spool. Striped galaxies, a living, twisting jungle of slivery silver. Viperish, leech like, slim slugs, slender devils, sliding like poisoned quills, leaking streaks of Indian ink across the blackboard of the mind. Brown centipede. A slotted slice of segments, wriggling no longer than the blades of grass that tuft about you on all sides. You're a tube of micro mottles, rubbery ringlets fused, twisting, and the skies. A galaxy away. Grove snail. Tongue. Twisty. Silvered cylinder. Hooded by a helmet honed of calcium carbonate. I've seen you sliding shyly down the underside of rocks. Camouflaging among rusting leaves and garden debris. Conical loner, quiet trudger, lugging the luggage of a shelled life over thorns and stones and buried bones, carrying your memories and hidden treasures. Red Slug Burgundy herbivore Your orangey-brown body Bulges through the borage Glinting garnet in cold sunset Rufescent round back Rosy rose gobbler Rumpled pilgrim Rubicund, wrinkly, whiskey-ish in colour. Sometimes referred to as the chocolate Aryan. You're a tentacled northwesterner, elongating across Europe like a hunk of russet blubber. The full extent of your geographical distribution remains unknown. Elephant hawk moth. Blending slug with snake. Snail's pace with feline stealth. Wisps of chiffon crepe with woven smoke. Wobbly eyes bobble as you bodge through blades of grass. And flatten clovers, stalks of buttercups and daisies. Unusual. Strange, even. Your shuffle ruffles bumblebees and ants, startles passing bugs and grubs. Largest of your kind, grey squirrel grey, you lope a lawn like the lazy trunk of a languorous elephant strolling through the jungle.